my name is Sarah, I'm 24 years old. Um, I'm originally from Germany, but I live in Lisbon now because I'm studying a master's in law and economics of the sea. And I'm very passionate about protecting the ocean environment and I'm also a passionate surfer. I work a lot on the ocean and I learn about the ocean in my academic life, but I haven't found a way to become more active in actually advocating for better ocean protection. So when I saw the, the announcement of the Eurasia Network, I really wanted to join and become a more active ambassador and advocate for the ocean. So we carry 12 different recommendations that we worked on, on during different webinars and workshops. They're mostly focused on shipping and blue jobs, but the one that we're presenting at the Ocean Conference here is number 12, so the last one. And it focuses on funding more interdisciplinary research and also on establishing a science panel that is only focused on the ocean. I think it is super important to include the voice of the youth in ocean policies because it's about youth representation. I think we're all young people between 18 and 25 uh, from different European countries and when you look around there's a lot of old people, there's a lot of men as well and not that much diversity so I think it's very important that we, that we create this room for ourselves and bring in our, own, our voices. I think it's so powerful to have these networks because we all come from such different backgrounds, not just in terms of nationality, but also in terms of academic fields. We have people doing marine biology, but then we also have people who are doing water management, oceanography, all these types of fields. And if we all come together to work on different problems and solutions, it's so much more rich and effective because we all bring in our own knowledge background and ideas. So that's why these networks are so powerful. And if we can then bring our solutions or recommendations to policymakers, that is, that is the most powerful thing.